going to pivot to a more serious story now. Nearly 12% of Americans suffer from chronic, disabling, long-term pain. So it's a good bet that you or someone you know is dealing with it. And navigating this issue is complicated by the opioid crisis. On one side, there's this need to curb prescription abuse. On the other, there are people who say they really need the drugs, but now they can't get them. They say there's now an epidemic of pain patients resorting to suicide. Scott Broom is on this story for us tonight. The first thing chronic pain patients want you to know is there's a big difference between them and drug addicts. They gathered this week in Annapolis. Let's start with Joan Houston Pitts. Well, I have lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and fibromyalgia. I had one doctor flatly refuse to treat me, and then this doctor that I have now has cut my medications in half. So now I live with more pain than I've lived with since 2007 and I'm afraid that I'm going to go one day and he's going to tell me that I'm not going to be able to get my medicine. So I'm here. So I hope someone will listen to those of us that are not drug addicted, that are not using our pain medication illicitly, that really need the pain medication just to survive, just to be able to live on a daily basis and function, not to get high, just to survive. Life gets worse and worse and worse with the pain and then they want to try to take back the meds that, that were maintained us to a certain level five and six years ago. I'm tired of being punished for something I didn't do. And my medicines keep getting cut, 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 and you just can't live. Medical insurance companies do not want to cover pain medications any longer. They're trying to stay out of it also. I have problems with the pharmacies. People have committed suicide. When you have people killing themselves because they can't get pain relief, that is just wrong. I've been to that point where I've almost committed suicide. And I don't want to go back because I want to live my life. I have a life and I have family and I have loved ones and I want to live. That's all I want to do. I just want to live. There is a new study out that finds about 9% of people who commit suicide suffer from chronic pain. And that rate has risen since the government imposed new restrictive guidelines for doctors on opioid use. But the matter is complicated by the fact that some of the patients use opioids to end their lives. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Now these are voices we don't always hear about the opioid crisis. Earlier this month, the Centers for Disease Control changed its guidelines to give doctors more leeway in prescribing opioids. It comes after the American Medical Association and others said the restrictive guidelines back in 2016 went way too far. Pain patients say they have not seen the results of those changes yet.